Now that we know how to use the Profoto A1, it's time to take it up a notch. We're gonna utilize the Air Remote built inside the Profoto A1 to control a B1X off camera. In this video, we're gonna use the B1X as our example, but the same rules apply to all of our Air TTL enabled lights, including the D2, the B2, and the Pro 10. The first thing we wanna do is make sure that we power on the A1. Then we're gonna to navigate to Air to ensure that Air is enabled. This is gonna allow the air remote inside the A1 to broadcast out to other flashes. Make sure that the channel is selected that we would like and designate a group for the A1. The A1 does consume one of the groups of our air system. That's why we give you six. In the Profoto air system, you have groups A through F. Groups A, B, and C are gonna be your TTL and manual groups. This means that the groups A, B, and C have the option of being controlled fully TTL or manual. Groups D, E, and F are manual only. This means that when the air remote is in TTL mode, your groups D through F can still only be controlled manually. Your channels lump all your lights in together and your groups give you individual control of each light. Now, we just need to set the B1X to the corresponding channel of the A1. The grouping rules apply to the B1X just like they apply to everything else in the Air TTL system. With the A1 set to TTL, we now have the ability to shoot automatic with the A1 and the B1X together. If we need to make any compensation adjustments, we can simply select the group of the B1X and compensate right from the back of the camera. Also in TTL mode, you have the ability to control each light individually, but if you need to bring them all up and down together, you can use the flash exposure compensation inside of the camera. Then you can easily flip to manual mode and make hard power changes to your light. So once again, I simply select group B and I can turn the power down to my desired output. So what if you wanna use the Profoto A1 as an air remote, but not as a flash? That's incredibly simple as well. You have two options. The first is to hold down the modeling lamp button until you get the two dashes. This lets you know that the head of the A1 is disabled, but the air remote will still control the B1X. You can also turn off the head of the A1 in the menu system. Simply press the center button, navigate to head, and turn it off. It's that simple. With the A1's head turned off and the air remote still on, you have the ability to control all air-enabled lights in the Profoto system.